In this experiment, I will demonstrate how a chemical compound phenotaline is used to determine if a solution is an alkaline or an acid. The first test tube on the left contains phenotaline. The second test tube on the left contains sodium hydroxide, which is a strong alkaline. The third test tube contains hydrochloric acid, which is a strong acid. You first pour the sodium hydroxide into a chronicle flask. You can see that is a clear, it is a clear colourless solution. We then pour a little phenotaline into the flask. You can see that the solution immediately turns pink. Phenotaline turns pink in alkaline solutions. Then we add hydrochloric acid into the flask. You can see the pink solution now becomes colourless again. This is because the solution is no longer alkaline to to the addition of the acid, phenotaline is colourless in acid solutions. This experiment is a bit like magnetism because there's a negative charge and a positive charge. If a negative charge and a positive charge meet up, they will, <coughs> the positive charge will follow the negative charge like this. And it will follow your finger. But if two positive charges meet up, they will eventually just fall. charges are in your finger but the positive charges are in these straws here but you need to like rub them so that's what makes them go like this and then so you need to rub them Hold it very still. Hey, Did you see that? Yeah, I see that. Did you see that? Is that what happened? Yes. This is a Morse code tutor program that was written by me and Daddy. 
This program will display the Morse code dots and dashes for each of the letters in the alphabet and to make the correct long and short beeps and light flashes on the breadboard circuit with a beeper and an LED. The code first sets up the GPIO and timer functions in the Raspberry Pi. The code then tells the GPIO to communicate with a circuit board and not display any error warnings. The code then activates the pin GPIO 17 of the Raspberry Pi that is connected to the circuit board. The code now clears the screen and prints the program titles. This fo is followed by the series of codes for each letter of the alphabet that displays the relevant dots and dashes on the screen for that letter and switches the beeper and LED on or off on the circuit board. Dots will be short to uh, 0 0.2 second beeps and dashes will be long half second beeps. Finally, the code resets all GPIO pins and tells the user the program has entered. You shall now run the program so you can see it in operation. This is a Raspberry Pi Morse code transmitter program. This program will ask the user to input a message and then transmit that message in Morse code. Making the corresponding long and short beeps and light flashes on the breadboard with a beeper and LED that is connected to our Raspberry Pi. We will first define the program functions for producing the beeps and flashes for each letter of the alphabet. This includes a short, the short space between words. The code for these functions was copied from the Morse code through the program we created earlier this week. The program then sets up GPIO and timer functions in the Raspberry Pi and tells the GPIO to communicate with the circuit board. The code activates the pin GPIO17 on the Raspberry Pi. The program then clears the screen and prints program titles. Then the code asks the user to input a message to be transmitted. It does not matter if the message is uppercase or lo in lowercase. The program determines the total number of characters in the message including the spaces between words. The program now starts loop in examining each letter of the message, sending the appropriate signal by calling the relevant program function, then going to the next letter. This loop it continues until the last letter of the message is reached. <coughs> the code resets all the GPIO pins and tells the user that the message has been transmitted and ends the program. Let me now demonstrate the program by running it and inputting a message to be transmitted.
Okay, we've got just one, three more. Calcium hydroxide. Hydroxide. Bit more, it's not much. You should, you should press it, put it down like that, press it in the middle. That? Yes. Isn't that a lot simpler? Now, how do you make sure? Is it soluble? No, Charge of minus three. If you add them up, it will equal a charge of zero. If you put iron, if you put iron in the nickel, you will put it. Oh, 
Yes, I can see you. Come on. It's a bit like Whoa. a worm stuck together. Whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Okay, it worked for a second. You have to do the U shaped thing. It's really good. It's about
Krishan, can you close the kitchen door? Oh, never mind. Ready? Yes, I lost it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ah. Go! Ah. <laughs> <laughs>